Welcome everybody, today I've made a script. Well, I already made the script, but it got patched, so I decided to rewrite it because this game just recently updated. And uh, yeah, let's test it out. And I have more new features now for you guys rather than the old one. So this actually this update actually made it better for my script. <laughs> but uh yeah, just stuff just some stuff changed. I am they pretty much rewrote everything in this game. Well, most most of it. But you get the script down in the description. Uh go find it there and go to this link right here to get your key and put your key right in here and then execute the script. Once you execute the script, you'll see a little loading bar down here which says connect to the server. It'll search for a script and detect the game. Check if your um, executor is compatible and then authenticate you while giving it an elapsed time to show you how long has passed. All right, so awesome. So now we have this script right here. I put a little information bar to show you um, when it will be until night. Uh, next is auto shove entity. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, well, well, we'll test this if you know we ever come across an entity. But um, basically, entity is those employees, um, and it'll just automatically push them. But keep in mind, this isn't actually that very reliable. Sometimes it will push, sometimes it won't. So honestly, you're better off um, pushing them yourself still. But uh, you could still keep it on, you know. I mean, I'm I'm sure it, it'll help. It just doesn't like they'll still be able to hit you. It's, so it's not really like an aura around you, that an aura of protection. So just keep that in mind. Um, oh nice, some food. Um, okay, next is auto stats. Now we can actually test this if I just pick all these up right here. Auto stats will basically fill your energy bar and your hunger bar with the food that you have in your inventory if you need it. So basically it will calculate how much energy that it gives you. So if I, if I, if this number of energy equals this amount of energy to 100%, then it will eat it. If it doesn't, oh come on, not fucking... <sighs> I'm gonna teleport up. But basically, if you if this number equals to your energy bar percentage number to 100, if it equals to 100, it will eat it. But if it doesn't, it will save it until it has enough. So if I turn that on, as you can see, my hunger bar went up, and they all went up to 100%. So yeah, it'll automatically know how to eat um, until you're pretty much at 100%. It will not save it. Um, it will always or try to make sure that you stay around 100 percent okay so that's what auto stats does yeah this also goes with your health by the way so if you're low on health and you have a med kit it will automatically heal you as well um but next is sprint speed so you can set your sprint speed right here i'm just gonna set mine to i like 50 50 is pretty nice as you can see i'm sprinting pretty fast zoom zoom bro but yeah that's what sprint speed is next is slide speed this is actually my favorite because they added sliding in this game as a mechanic so i like setting mine to around the max number which is uh i tested a lot of numbers and so far 500 is the best optimal one so uh yeah if you want to slide just sprint and then press c as you can see you oh god <laughs> uh okay i fell inside but it's pretty fun to slide as you can see like you just slide like this but there's a little slide cooldown. Uh, you can't really spam slide. That's why I added this right here, which will remove the slide cooldown. Just scroll down and you'll see no slide cooldown. So as you can see, you can just keep sliding cooldownless. And it's so fast. Like, see this shit? I'm just zooming, zooming. Next is no fall damage. If you turn this on, obviously, it will um, remove fall your fall damage. You will not take fall damage if you fall from a high place. That's pretty much that. That's all that is. Um, next is no jump cooldown. This will basically uh, remove the cooldown so you can just start flying like this. You can just start, you know, flying so high by holding space bar. Uh, yeah, that's what no jump cooldown is. Next is um, no hunger or energy loss. Risky. Now the reason why I put risky here is because it, there might be a... Um, there might be an update or a future where this will get patched and could probably be used as a detection method. Um, all that basically just means is that you might get banned if you use this. But uh, you could see you still use this if you want. I just don't guarantee that um, your account is much safer than it already is it now. <laughs> so it's more riskier to use this if you want. But basically, no hunger energy loss. Basically infinite energy and hunger. So if you turn this on, as you can see, my bar for energy and, hun and hunger will be full. It will, will never go down. So you always have a full energy bar and a full hunger bar. So you don't have to worry about collecting food or anything. 
uh, that's what that basically is. And it's server-sided, so yeah. When you're actually at 100%, you won't actually, you know, starve still, you know. It complies with the server, basically. You should probably not use it, though. Um, I mean, I mean, you can already, like, get a bunch of food, and you just use auto stats, which will make you automatically full anyway. You can always just check how much food you have, you know. So, yeah, you can always just do that, but if you don't care or you're just a bit lazy, just, yeah, no hunger or energy loss is better. And click teleport, you know, just press Z to teleport everywhere. Z is unironically also the zoom, so you gotta keep that in mind. Um, what else? So, pick up Aura. This is another thing I wanted to add really badly. Um, this is what I had in my old script, but it's somewhat kind of worse now in this update. But basically, if we just... Um, look for some food. <laughs> if I could just find some food, that would be... Oh, or medkits. This works too. So, if I press X, it'll automatically pick up the medkit, as you can see. And it'll pick up anything that's around you. As you can see, that medkit was picked up and that medkit was picked up. And you can spam X if you want to, like if it's picking up too slow. And this can also pick up items behind walls or through walls. So you can kind of steal people's food. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, there's a there's an entity down there. All right, um, let's test it. So we have auto shop. If I turn it on, I just go down. Now come on! It won't work by the way if it's day, so don't expect it to. Basically, it's gonna just shove it. Uh, employees that are near you. Uh, that's pretty much it. And just like I said, it's not like as instant as you might think. It might be delayed. You'll still get hit by an entity, so it's better to just click them yourself. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. This is the most OP script, I think, for this game. The only thing it's really missing is, um, uh, like, force day mode or something, you know, so I can always see, see the fucking game and remove fog. I mean, I could do that, uh, and I will, I guess, eventually, but I, I just don't think it's needed, so it's, since you could just, like, zoom, zoom, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, look at this shit, I'm just fucking swoo, swoo! I see all of them, they're over there. They're just, you know, they're just chilling. And you just zoom so fast, as you can see, like, you could just go through the map pretty quickly that I don't really think you really need that. Oh god, my energy. So yeah, um, you start crouching for some reason. Oh right, no, it's not, this, is, this isn't the last. Um, next is other game mode. Uh, basically what other game mode is, is if you press this button and turn it on, you're gonna get a notification that says join another game mode. So basically, this is just for if you want to join another game mode in SCP-3008. So, as you can see, if you press T and go to game modes, there's like, um, different types of games. There's Shattered Reality, which won't work for this cheat, by the way, so don't join Shattered Reality. The script will not work. And Shattered Reality is kind of boring anyway. It's just like a fucking obby. A giant obby, and nothing can kill you pretty much except your own skill. <laughs> Um, but that's it. Next is 100 and uh, 700 players. The reason why this won't work for some servers in this list is because they're not updated to 2.71. So if the server is still 2.7 uh, and not 2.71, the script won't work. So it'll only work on updated servers. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say. So if we just join a 100 player server, I'm going to press this now. We're going to wait it out and teleport. Uh, waiting waiting till I'm in the game and basically it will automatically uh, execute the script again for you because if you um if you if you execute the script like this script right here um it's gonna say there's no script available for this game so yeah just keep that in mind uh you have to s execute the script directly from the first game and it only works if you execute in the first game so yeah that's it so I have to say, um, and everything still works because the server is the updated servers. Uh, if the server is not the updated server, then uh, you're a bit fucked. Come on, pick up the food. Pick up the food. Come on, pick up the food. There it is. Um, it's a bit slow. This is what I mean. I don't know why, though. It's just a bug, I guess. But yeah, just spam it, I guess, if it doesn't pick it up. Come on, come on, come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. What the fuck? Oh, it's not picking up because my inventory is full. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> okay, just check if your inventory is full, guys, so you you don't look stupid like me and start spamming X when your inventory is full. <laughs> I should probably add something, you know, that actually just notifies me if my bag is full or something. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for using... Oh. Um... Uh, <laughs>
yeah, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for using my script. And they did fix the lag, it seems, for the actual time in this game. Because old ser because the old servers that, you know, were about 100 players, that had 100 players, were very, uh, the time would get stuck sometimes. They're just really slow. But uh, it seems the timer is fixed now and actually works properly. So at least he fixed that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for using my script.